The verb take is an irregular verb. In the simple form, it's take. The past tense is took. The past participle is taken. And the present participle is taking. Take, took, taken, taking. I'll give you mine once I'm finished. Okay. This week, I'm in the state of... The houses here look... Among the many different ways to use take, this word can mean to bring, get, or steal, move, use, or consume medicine, follow, or choose. And there are many other uses in addition to these. The word take is often used for transportation, especially public transportation. Which bus do you take? This is in the present tense, and this is the simple form of the verb. The answer to this question is, I take, and then this would be the name of the bus or the number for the bus. I take the 515. To make this past tense, just change the helping verb. Which bus did you take? The main verb is still in the simple form. And your answer would be in the past tense, I took and then the name of the bus. I took the 515. If we put this in the present perfect tense, I can form a yes, no question. Have you ever taken the train? Here is the helping verb and here is the main verb. It's in the form of a past participle. Have you ever taken the train? And the answer to this question, if it's a yes, no question, would simply be, yes, I have. Or if it's negative, no, I haven't. There are a lot of things that you can take. This is a very idiomatic verb. You can take a nap when you rest. A short rest is a nap. Take a nap. Or you can take a break. This would be a rest from work. Take a break. If you want a longer break, then you can take a vacation. And for recreation, you can take a trip. All of these nouns in a sentence would be the object of take. So you just have to have a subject here in this position. Here's the verb. And then each one of these would be the object. You usually need an object after the verb take. Use take for school-related activities. Students take classes, or you can use the word course. You can take a course. Students take notes. They write down what the teacher says. They take quizzes and tests, and they take final exams at the end of a term or a semester. Use take when going up and down in a building. In a tall building, you take an elevator to a floor in that building. 
you take an escalator to move between floors. Or you can take the stairs. That might be the fastest way to move between floors. Use take for the consumption of things you eat or drink. Take a drink. Or for food, take a bite. You can take a piece of something or just take a piece. Or you can say take a big piece. That would be a large amount of food. Or take a small piece. That would be a small amount of food. Or you could also say take a, a sample. That would be a, a very small amount of food sometimes offered in a grocery store. You take a sample. Use take for transportation. He takes a train to work. She takes the bus. They took a flight to LA. This would be on an airplane. Let's take an Uber. Take the highway. Use take for driving directions. When it's a left turn, you take a left. When it's a right turn, you take a right. When deciding how to get somewhere, you can take the highway. This might be the fastest way to go somewhere. Take the highway. And street names are often used when giving directions. Take Penn Avenue. This is the name of a street. Use take when traveling, whether it's a long distance or a short distance. You can take a shortcut, or this is almost the same thing as taking the short way. Take the short way or take a shortcut. This is a good word to know for traveling through a city or through any neighborhood. Or you can take the long way for whatever reason you want the trip to last longer. Or you can take the scenic route. This allows you to see things that are beautiful as you are traveling. A nurse takes your pulse and your blood pressure when you go in for a checkup. The nurse takes your temperature and sometimes she takes your blood for a blood test. A doctor or a technician takes x-rays. A patient takes medicine or prescription drugs. Take is often used for time, a length of time. Here are four different statements that use the verb take. It takes too long. This is in the present tense. In the past tense, it took too long. In the present continuous tense, it is taking too long. This is something that's happening right now. And this is in the present perfect tense. This is also happening now. It has taken too long. You can use take in the same way that you use the word require. It takes effort. Or instead of effort, you can say determination. This is a, a good word to use, either one, when trying to achieve a goal. It takes effort. It takes determination. It takes practice. It requires practice. It takes practice. It takes hard work. It requires hard work. 
it takes hard work and it takes time for anything that you want to achieve it requires time it takes time do you have what it takes do you have the necessary skill to finish something do you have what it takes he has what it takes so in this sentence he has the skill or the intelligence or it could be the experience he has what it takes i can't take it or i can't take it any longer this is said when some situation is difficult and a person can't do something it's too difficult i can't take it i can't do it i can't do it any longer this is often said when a situation is too difficult and a person has to stop 